down in Florida. All of a sudden, I like felt like I was coming down with the flu. Woke up in the morning, and then by 11 o'clock, I felt like I needed to, to take a nap. Then it progressed to where I was losing my appetite. Then I would had this chronic cough, too. My wife finally said, you know, you better go see a doctor. I first met Nick when he came to see us because he had long COVID, or what was thought as a simple fatigue. And his primary care physician got a CT scan of his chest, and they found this watermelon-sized tumor in the, in the center of his chest. So he got a biopsy, and that confirmed our diagnosis of a germ cell tumor. And, you know, just, you, you never expect to hear that uh, about yourself or a loved one. So it was quite a shock. So when you're faced with a cancer in the chest that is rare and aggressive, your best bet is to go to a place where there's a multidisciplinary team. Here at Loyola, we're fortunate to have that. We have world experts that treat these cancers on a daily basis. We have referrals that come from all over the world for things like this. We decided that Nick's best course of action was to proceed with neoadjuvant therapy. That means that he gets chemotherapy before a planned operation. It was important to use that chemotherapy to shrink that tumor from the watermelon size that he had into a softball size that I can later take out. I would have to be in the hospital for six days straight, and I had to do that four times. I don't know how I got through it, but I did. And I just said I, I stayed focused. The, the nurses were phenomenal. Those people I owe my life to. They were professional, compassionate, loving, and just good at their job. So after his cancer shrunk down to a size that was reasonable and he had completed his chemotherapy, we decided to take him to the operating room. Our surgery involved taking out that tumor, part of his lung, part of the heart lining, and part of one of the major blood vessels that supplied his lung. So if Nick did not get the surgery or the treatment that we had planned for him, uh, this cancer would have taken his life. Six weeks after my surgery, I was walking on the beach of Siesta Key, Florida with my wife. And that was the best thing ever. He is now two years out and is cancer free. They saved his life. They were just an incredible team. Our older daughter is getting married this summer in August and we are just so thankful that Nick is here to walk her down the aisle and, and, and be there with, with all of us.